All right, this video is for John, I think Minky, uh, 4186, hopefully I'm saying that right. You'd ask me uh, to do a video about how I select which new game to play and how I approach it, how do I approach picking which denom, how much to bet uh, at each uh, denom, and then also a few other questions like do I mess around with different denoms um, and bet amounts, you know, just kind of how do I approach a scene if it's a new game, you know, why would I pick it or why would I not pick it? I've never played this one, Triple Fortune Link. Uh, so let's kind of go over this one. We'll, we'll do it together. I've seen, you know, I've seen other people on YouTube videos play this machine and I've, I've and the videos that I've seen have been people having success on it. I gotta imagine there's people getting wrecked on it also. Um, this machine has got other older variations of it. So typically uh, when the first version of a machine comes out, typically be, is the least volatile. Not always, but it typically is. It seems like whenever there's like a part two or part three, um, that it gets more and more volatile. For example, top dollar, the old school top dollar versus the brand new top dollar, that's uh, nine line. Uh, it just doesn't seem to pay out as much. Or pinball, that's tied to, instead of being tied to double, uh, excuse me, uh, double diamond is attached to double gold. Double gold is just a more volatile machine. Uh, maybe those aren't the best examples. So another uh, example is that dragon game where the reels come down and goes, dragon! Right, the first one that came out, still a volatile machine, but fairly decent. But then they came out double dragon with a split screen. And it seems like everybody I see playing the double dragon gets wrecked. So I don't really see very many people playing the double dragon. Most people are playing the original dragon, right? Original Buffalo when it first came out. Still a volatile game, but not near as volatile as all the newer versions of volatile because they tend to just add more, more bonuses, higher progressives, and to, do, and to add all those extra things, um, the game is just going to be more volatile. It's not going to pay out as often. You might get small wins, but to get the big wins is going to be difficult. Um, Denom, I tend to try to stay on the right side of the Denom. So if I'm going to bet, you know, five bucks on here, it's uh, 588 is the highest on pennies. If I go into two cents, the highest on it on two cents is, uh, well, it just doubles the amount. It's like basically 588 times two, so 12 bucks almost. Uh, but if it's a brand new game, I don't like to put a lot of money into it. I don't want to just experiment at the higher bet amounts with my money. Uh, so when I approach a new game, I want to, you know, just obviously I want to play for a bit, see how it goes. Yeah, 300 bucks in there. We're going to max out pennies at 588. So we're going to do that for a bit. See how it goes. See if we can get uh, uh, triple pop is what I've seen. So many new people. Oh my gosh! Our second hit. We got that. Really? Okay. We got that on our second hit. Holy cow! Wasn't expecting that. So we'll, we'll carry on our conversation as we as we do this. Eighteen dollars that first coin. Well, that was nothing there. All right, that's good. So I know we can get like other colored rockets to open up the other ones, but so far, nothing. Wow. Last spin, come on, okay, there we go. All right. $2.40 is not crazy exciting when you're betting 588. You're hoping to release your minimums your bet on a bonus, but oftentimes these new games, they're not. Uh, your minimum is is less than your bet often on these on these coins and the bonus features, but it's also because it can unlock other rows and because it can unlock so many potential rows. Like look at the red. If I unlock the red already, right? It's already got some great numbers in it. Uh, but because it's got potential to unlock so many rows, it's going to do less than your minimum bet. We're like Dragon Link, right? It only can unlock the 15. That's all there is. And so your your lowest ball you're going to get on Dragon Link is your minimum bet. But it can't unlock more than 15. Well, this one can unlock a whole lot more. So that's why we're getting smaller numbers when we can see games like this. All right, so our total is 39.60. That's a terrible bonus, right? Not a great bonus at all, so shows the, some of the volatility of the machine that you can get terrible bonus. You can't have any bonus, right? But you're hoping for 
minimum and a bonus 10 times your bag. You know, that'd be like, that'd be your minimum, but there is a lot of potential here, so let's keep going. Well, that'd be crazy on my second hit to get a double pop. But because you can get, you know, three things to go off that adds the volatility, volatility of it. Um, I think to look for is frequency of bonus. You know, if the bonuses tend to kind of come often, um, then maybe I'll, I'll play it as a, for a new game. But if it's just impossible to hit, so hard to hit, I tend to not play them as much. Or if they're just bad bonus, like things like Mystery of the Lamp. I think that's a terrible new slot. Now they've even got a new version of Mystery of the Lamp. It's not a game I'd play. I don't think it's very good. Most of these cartoon slots are not good. Uh, but there's a few decent ones out there that have got potential that I think more potential than the others. Um, I'm also looking for, oh my gosh, we got the blue again. Okay, we gonna start with those numbers? Oh wow, we do. Okay. Let's hope that this one, well it's already better. All right, green, unlock it. Nope. I'm gonna move the camera a little bit on you guys as this goes. Hopefully that's okay. But that was our first rocket. Oh, we get it again. Come on, unlock it, unlock it. Oh, there's a $36 coin in there. Last spin, hopefully not. There we go, 480. 420. I wonder how it comes up with these numbers. 480, 420, 360. It's interesting. What mass set they're using to get those? Six bucks. I don't even see a 588. You think you think the one would be your bet? 588, but come on. Don't be the ending one. It is. Uh, we got, okay, 67, 80. So we got more than 10 times our bet. That's good. So, bonus frequency I'm liking so far, right? Um, the number one factor is are you going to have fun? Right? Is the entertainment there, there? That's obviously number one. But, oh, triple pop. Oh, we didn't get a triple pop, but we got the green. Holy cow. Okay, so this one I'm just gonna hold. Sorry for the shakiness, but this is because it is in the middle and I don't want to uh, just constantly raise the camera up and down. Ooh, can we get the red on it? All right, so so far we've got three rockets total between the bonuses, but nothing's unlocked. $18. Come on, keep it going, keep it going. Hey, all right, hold on, all right, this guy. Ooh, come on, Blue. Get it. Yes, we have locked it, okay. I'm gonna back up so we can see them both here. Oh, you unlock the red, that'd be crazy. Nope, it still would have been crazy. All right, we got a little more of the blue. We got lots of space in the blue, come on. So this is where I mean why you get small numbers, because you've got a potential to collect a lot of coins. Come on, green's done. I know it can open back up if we got a green rocket. It could have unlocked back up, but got to get a rocket first. All right, this could be it. Don't be it. Give us one. Oh, all right, green. Is it going to unlock back up? Oh, and that resets the, the number. Oh, it did unlock back. Oh, and it raised the, the two highest ones. It probably just randomly picked some. I don't assume it's always going to raise the highest ones, but that's awesome. Come on, stay alive. Oh, green's got one or two more. See, no color in it at all, though. Oh, there's one in the bottom left. 
It just splashes once and then dies. Come on. One in each one. Come on, come on. Nope. Come on, come on. All right, that's kind of what we expected. That's awesome. So one of the reasons why, again, I picked this game is because I've seen other people play it on YouTube, and it seemed like it did all right. But of course, I don't know because I'm only watching videos where people are winning, right? Uh, sometimes, you know, people don't post their, you know, their, their video of their loss. I mean, it's there, but maybe you just gotta watch their channel consistently to try to find it. Okay, I thought it was gonna pop again because it jumped. I was like, no way. Triple pop? Nope. But they all jump, so that's kind of cool. It's a little, little added tease. Oh, keep going. All right, so line hits, I think I was talking about that, something you look for. You wanna, you know, free games feature, or not free games, you wanna make sure you kind of get, get line hits so you're playing that are decent. That's not bad, I mean, it is. It is a pretty good screen amount. You'd hope for maybe a little bit more than 31 bucks, but we got it, so I can't complain. You know, you, you're getting some line hits while you play. That's good. You know, small line hits as you go, that's good, versus just a whole lot of dead spins. Do I bounce my bet around amount? Sometimes I do. Right, there's a lot of people that bounce their bet around, they try the, the pennies, the two cents, the nickels, whatever. I mean, it does not matter, right? It just doesn't matter um, changing your bet around. All it's doing is it's just changing the timing of when you're gonna push the button. That doesn't mean that if you go from from a dollar eighty-eight pennies, or five eighty-eight pennies, or you go to ten bucks and two cents, or fifteen bucks and dimes, it's still the same odds to hit all those things. Now, yes, the machine is set at differences, different percentages. So, for example, pennies on this machine might have a return to player RTP at like eighty. 8.9%, so 88.5, call it 89%. We'll, we'll call it 89% is what the return to player might be on the pennies. And then you go to two senses, it might be at 89.5, right, or close to 90%. And then nickels might be at 90, 90.5, or 91. Dimes might be at half a percent higher. And then so forth, right? And so you might jump from pennies two quarters, it might get a 2% better. You know, if you go from pennies to dollar, yeah, you might get a two to three to 4% return to player potentially better, but you're not gonna notice it while you're playing, right? That's over 10 million spins is what that machine averages out. I mean, I could be, this could be a new machine and it could be right now at a 190% return to player right now because it could have just potentially just paid and paid and paid and paid and that's where it's at. Right? But after 10 million spins, it's gonna bounce itself out where it's gonna be very, very close, extremely close to what the machine was set at. So people can bounce around denominations and they can bounce around their bet amounts for, and potentially think they've got control of the machine or they're gonna to try to find the hot denom. It's just not true. It's just not true. It's all about when you push that button, Right? I'm hoping people are watching this video and, and, and kind of listening to that, but all these machines are in the casino, they're on, and the random number generator is spinning. As soon as you, it's powered on, it's cycled on, there it is, that random number, random number generator is just spin, 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 spin. It's all it does, all day long, 24 seven, right? You come up, put your player's card in, affects it in no way. Then you put your money in, it affects it in no way. And then you decide to select your bet, your denomination. It's going to go to that return to player percentage at whatever that denomination is, right? Again, it affects the random number generator in no way. And then you're going to affect, put, decide how much you're going to bet affects the random number generator in no way. And then you're going to push spin. 
That's the only time that num random number generator that you get to affect it. And all it does is it stops it, right? It stops it from spinning from a million different numbers, however many numbers they've decided to put in there, right? Uh, of potential pays between blanks and to all the way up to the progressive jackpots. And all she did is she stopped it. So let's say there's a million different ways you can win and lose on this machine. And it landed on 984,362. And whatever that's programmed at, that's what you're gonna get paid. And that's it. It's just, that's just the way it is. That's just a very simple form or way of it works. That's basically the simplistic way of what it works. It's the, so I don't really bounce around my bed amounts. I just decide to pick a bed amount and change. Sometimes, you know, people will ask me to and I do it for them. Or if there's like, hey, I really want to bet $6 on this machine, but it doesn't have a $6 bet, but it's got a five and a seven. I'll alternate back and forth between five and seven so I can average out my $6. Because I look at it, oh, keep going. It could be decent. $64.80, right? That's good. So I might say, okay, I'm going to put 300 bucks in this machine. I want to get 100 spins minimum out of it just to see what it does. Well, to do so, if I got 100 blanks, I got to bet $3, right? So that's kind of how I'll determine what my bet amount is and how much money I want to put in machine. Um, but if I'm just sitting down and I'm getting wrecked and bonuses aren't coming, blind hits are not coming, um, you'll see me play it longer than I should because I'm making a video for somebody or for YouTube. But in real life reality, uh, I'll get up and go. Um, so I'll, I'll stay on machines longer than I should for the video at times. And that's, and that's why, you know, some people are like, why well, I'd have left it this time. I'm like, well, you're right, I should have. But, you know, I was only at four minutes in or six minutes in and I wanted to get to 10 or 12 or 15 or eight or whatever number of time frame I was trying to get to. So, I don't even remember, how much did I put in here? 300 bucks, 400 bucks? I don't remember. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna go past 300 though. This video's getting long, it's over 17 minutes and it's a new slot. A lot of people don't watch the newer slots. But this slot, I think, has got some potential. I mean, it started off, I mean, it got three bonuses fairly quickly and uh, got me up. So all I've done is played with Casino's money the whole time. Haven't got a bonus after that last bonus and it's pretty much taken it all, but I do like it. Uh, I, I definitely might try it again just to see how it goes because one play of it is not gonna give me enough information of what I wanna do. Uh, but some of the new games that I do like, Mo Mummy, if you've watched the channel, you definitely say like that because I think that cash collect feature is just so good. Rarely is it just terrible. It's usually good to great. I've only had a couple bad. Um, and then also Flaming Hot Pots. Line hits are terrible on it, but the bonus in it is, is good to great. And sometimes it's bad, but the one thing I like about the bonus is that it just typically lasts for a long time. So anytime you're in a bonus, and that bonus lasts five, six, seven, eight. I've had bonuses last over 10 minutes on that game. And because of that, you're no longer spending money. You're just watching the machine play and you're potentially collecting more and more money. That stops you spending money for that entire bonus. And it's a long bonus, especially when you get the spicy. Another great new slot. Anyways, hopefully that helps. If I miss anything, let me know. I appreciate you asking, John Minky. And let's go, John.